Warrior is directed by Gavin O'Connor and stars Tom Hardy, Joel Egerton, and Nick Nolte. And this film is about the youngest son of an alcoholic former boxer returns home, where he's trained by his father once again to compete in a mixed martial arts tournament. And it puts him in a path to become the fighter versus the fighter on a collision course with his estranged older brother who's a teacher. Guys, Warrior, Gavin O'Connor, I just want to talk about Gavin O'Connor real quick. He has made three films including warrior that i really enjoyed that being the way back the accountant and this and i'm very excited for him coming back to direct the accountant too so i'm definitely going to talk about the accountant sooner or later but this movie i remember seeing this movie back in 2011 it came out in 09 and i remember like i saw bits and parts of it and i really enjoyed it but then sitting down to finally like rewatch it maybe a couple years ago this is a remarkable film. Uh, the performances by all three, Tom Hardy, Joel Egerton, and Nick Nolte are phenomenal. This film is shot in a beautiful way too as well. It's got that very sportsy type uh, motivational vibe film, like the way that the cinematography is. It's got a really cool score. They use Beethoven a lot throughout the film as well. Um, but besides that, what really shows for me is performances and the story. The story of two estranged brothers not getting along with their father, left their father, cared more about their mother, and because their father was a drunk and an alcoholic and treated them all like shit, and to end up coming out of nowhere and seeing little to no contact ever in this big MMA fight between them two, I thought was truly really, really special, remarkable, and you could really feel that that scariness, that pain, and you never you never know once throughout the film who's gonna win the fight until you watch it. And so you got Tommy, who's played by Tom Hardy, his character, he is basically an ex-Marine. He ends up leaving the Marines due to a reason that he feels responsible for, and he just wants to get back into boxing because it's something that he can do to take his frustration and anger out. When we first get introduced to Tommy, he is definitely that type of character that is a broken down character who is been through a lot especially family problems too as well on top of that and we see that you completely resonate with this character even if he's a dick at times too when you meet joel egerton's character um his character he is a school teacher and he's basically um struggling financially through everything so the reason why he needs to go into mma is basically to support his family he's got a wife and he's got two kids and that's where his financial struggles really show. So you automatically, Gavin O'Connor does a unique thing about writing the story, is that you automatically resonate with both brothers. And um, personally, I like Tom Hardy, Tom Hardy's character a little bit better. So I was rooting for him to win. Um, but I love that you both understand both of their struggles right away. So you feel bad for them automatically right off the start. And the same thing with Nick Nolte's character being the father. Nick Nolte's character is a recovering alcoholic and he's just trying to come back to his brother or to his sons and to reunite with them and they have been very standoffish very makes very easy sense too as well why they're standoffish as all these years went by as he treated them like shit but you could see especially when tommy goes up to his dad and says i want you to train me um back into mma and you can see the hopeness that his father gives that like I'm getting my son back but not really the case there's a sequence in the film that's very very emotional um when Tommy ends up going to the casino he's gambling a little bit and he's pissed off and that and his dad comes to him and says like like it's a, like truly like a real nice thing that you did with the marines and stuff like that because there's a scene that he ends up rescuing a big like group of marines that were tr like stuck in battle and he ended up ripping the tank door off and stuff like that and saved all these people and then he just took off um but the scene is very very emotional because T tommy flips out on his father and his father goes back and relapses into drinking and then tommy sees it and you can see by his expression how bad he feels and he ends up like taking care of him trying to get him to sober up and pass out for the day and i thought that was a like very very emotional scene but let's talk about the the fight itself which i thought the whole build up really well done the pacing in this film is beautiful too as well like i said cinematography writing the performances 
are fucking top notch for a film that came out in 2009. <clears throat> the fight is truly one of those things that was very suspenseful. You did not know who was going to win. And I liked it overall, even though I wanted Tommy to win. But it is truly one of those fights where in the end of the day, nobody really wins. You know, in the sense of his older brother beats him and he ends up basically, I think he dislocated his shoulder and stuff like that. But it's truly an emotional fight and it's an emotional sequence. And this is one of those movies that changed me as a person, as I, like, as I say too, with two brothers like this going at it. And they finally at the end, after his older brother beats him, they reunite and you can tell that they're like trying to get that connection back together. And I don't know. I like, it's like, I, I didn't write too many notes about this film because I wanted to talk from my personal experience. I just, I, like I watched it last Thursday and I was just like, wow, this is just a really good movie that I want to talk about. If I have to give a rating for Warrior, I have no complaints about the film. I really don't. So I'm going to give Warrior a 10 out of 10. I think it deserves it. I really do. But with that being said, Gavin O'Connor has made these type of motivational type films, whether it's dealing with a character with a disability or a recovering addict, The Way Back with Affleck is a recovering alcoholic who is trying to get his head back into basketball, which I thought was really cool too as well. And I have not talked about that film. I don't even own that film. And I would love to buy it. I was waiting. I thought it was going to come out on 4K, but it never did. Uh, but I think that's a remarkable film too. So if you guys like this video, let me know your thoughts below. And do you want me to start making a couple more Gavin O'Connor videos? I'm very excited about the new breaking news that they're filming the account too. I definitely want to talk about that film too. But thanks for watching guys. Subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.